We want to make Ukraine a success story. But let's go back two and a half years. Name any country in Europe who came through these kind of challenges like Ukraine and Ukrainians did. Zero. No one. Having Russian aggression, the country that was on the brink of financial collapse, Dysfunctional government. Russian spies infiltrated in all national security agencies. And very high aspirations of Ukrainian people. Because people deserve to have the better life. And instead of this, for example, my government had to pass for austerity packages to undertake extremely unpopular, but once again, the only possible steps. So in these current circumstances, what needs to be done, Mr. President? We do understand that the IMF program is the way how to stabilize Ukrainian macroeconomic performance. But we need growth. People ask for jobs. People ask for salaries and wages. People ask for better health care, people ask for better education, and for this, what we need? We need resources. Look, let's compare a support package or an aid package of Greece and Ukraine. Okay? As far as I remember, thanks God, there is no Russian tanks in Greece. We do have. We spend more than 5% of our GDP as a military expenditures. We protect Europe. We are the only army in Europe that deterred Russian army and Russian troops. So my appeal to my European friends, we need investment. We need leverage how to make Ukrainian economy robust, how to increase growth. And that's my appeal to you. We are from the same family. Our success is your success.